Hi hey artists, we are going to continue working on our primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. When you mix red and yellow together, you get orange. When you mix blue and yellow together, you get green. And when you mix red and blue together, you get violet, or another word is purple. So we're going to be creating this boot splash. Okay, so it's going to look like you jumped into a puddle and made a big splash. But as you can see, we're going to mix some of our colors together so that we have our primary colors mixing together to make secondary colors. If you have watercolors at home, you can do this with watercolors. If you don't, you can actually use um, markers for this by dipping the tip of your marker in water and then dotting your paper. You could do it the same way. Um, but I'm going to show you, if you do have the watercolors, how it would work. And I can show you with the markers as well in just a minute. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a splash of red in two places, kind of in the middle of your paper. Then you want to make sure your brush is rinsed out well before you get a new color. I'm going to put a splash of yellow couple splashes around and then we're going to put a couple splashes of blue just like that now the next thing you're going to do is you can take a straw so that you can blow your colors together so that they mix or if you don't have a straw you can simply pick your paper up and have the colors mix together as you're turning the paper around so you can see that it does work a little bit better with a, uh, a straw make sure that you don't put the straw in the paint you're just going above it and you're trying to mix those colors together I'm blowing outward so it looks like a big splash. You want to do that all around your paper. Mix all those beautiful colors together so that you get your paint splash. Now if you wanted to do it with marker, if you don't have watercolor paints, I'm going to show you that next. So it's going to be the same idea, except we're going to use washable markers instead of watercolors. So I'm going to take my marker and I'm just going to dip the tip of it in some water. And I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to make a few puddles of that color around my page, kind of in the middle for so my yellow. Ooh, that one was a tough one. And some red, uh, excuse me, blue. That's not red. Silly Miss Marks. And now I'll do some red. So this is going to be the same exact idea as the watercolors, except we're using the markers. I'm going to take my straw again, or you can pick your paper up and do it that way. to mix all those colors together so that we can see all those beautiful secondary colors of orange, green, and violet. And there you have your paint splash. Once you let that dry, you can go ahead and draw a pair of boots, cut them out, and glue them right in the center of your splash so you looks like you are splashing in a big rainbow puddle. If you wanted to, you can even add legs coming out of the boots. Okay, can't wait to see what you guys do. I hope you have fun.